That's what I call a good bus station. Outdoor air conditioning. Fantastic. <laughs> We're heading now to the Otoga. Otoga? No, it's going to Balik. No, yep, this is going to the fish station. So we need to find the other side. Whoopsies. Walk around. It doesn't always go to plan. So we need to find the six. I think it's going to be on the other side where we got dropped off, Lee. So Lee's okay. just paid the um, five lari. Five lari. Five lari for two people, two and a half each. And this is going to be three. Thank you. So there's my card, and, and I'm going through. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, walk around. I'm going to walk around. <laughs> that one did not quite go according to plan, but here I am. Now in the bus station bit. We're getting the six. Oh, we wait here. The 63. To the Atoga. Let's go. That was easy. It was so <laughs> friendly and helpful. Brilliant. So there we have the San Miurfa bus terminal. Otoga. And look at that. New town. Amazing. You notice the dome on the top is uh, similar to the Haran dome houses. Traditional ah. dome houses from this region. Here's a bit of historical information for you. Unfortunately, not that we went and saw them, but <laughs> sort of like a. We had a day off instead, didn't we? Yeah, a day off. <laughs> Lovely. So we bought our ticket to Goreme, to Cappadocia. Well, actually, but it's, it's going not... to Nevshahir. Nevshahir. But we're going with Nevshahir. Nevshahir, Sayat. Sayat, Sayat. A great bus company. These guys are really good. He sold us the tickets. Excellent, see? <laughs> service. Excellent service. And it's going to be 100 lira from here to Gorome. Never to here. <laughs> and we had two options. There's one at 12 o'clock, which got there at 9 p.m. Yeah. And one at 7.30 p.m., which got there at... 5.30 in the morning. You think it's 5.30? Yeah. I'm thinking it might be around Gone 4. Gone for the night one, so save some money on accommodation. That's the way you frugal travel. And uh, hopefully it'll be comfortable. Excellent. So we've got bought a ticket and we're going to go back to town and uh, it's 2.50 on the bus each and we saw like it's not that far we could walk it in like half an hour and you can get an ice cream for 125 so we thought if we walk all the way back we get two ice creams each as well. <laughs> like, we're both really keen on that so let's go to the shop. <laughs> Walking back from the bus station we would love an ice cream but we found a drink shop. A litre of Sprites I think 5.50 you've got your nuts and in here you've got your alcohol remember San Leodifer is a dry town I don't think he has any ice cream he's got drinks I'll check with him he's had a very pleasant walk down the hill and we're back near the center of town again back where we got the bus to Gobekli Tepe the turkey the red of the turkey signs through there Spent our bus money on two and a half litres. <laughs> so, got a bit of a buzz on right now. And we only drank half of it. So, we should really have just paid the three and a half for a litre, but yeah. yeah a bit of value for money, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> so, we're on the night bus to Cappadocia from San Liurfa. Uh, we're leaving at 7 30 pm and we're supposed to arrive there at six in the morning. It's quite a comfortable bus. Um, we put the ticket on the night bus to save a night's accommodation so I don't know how much sleep we'll get but it's pretty reasonable yeah quite yep. happy yeah from San Yorfa to Nevshahir Nevshahir yeah which is up the road from Goreme which is where all the tourists head to in Cappadocia it's like the, the small town the village that's like the epicenter of uh, where all the beautiful valleys are surrounding it. It's supposed to be really, really nice there. I'm going to be back on the tourist trail for the first time since Mestia in Georgia, probably like, I don't know, way over a month ago. Uh, since then, we've been off the beaten track a fair bit and we've only seen a couple of tourists around. Um, there's a Chinese girl on this bus. She's the first kind of Western tourist that we've uh, we've come across for a bit. Um, and yeah, what's good? First Turkish word, 13 <laughs> on each. <laughs> Excellent. Good. By the time we get to Istanbul, I'll have probably five words. <laughs> five minutes past midnight. On our way to Goreme. And I've just been woken up to be given biscuits. Cake. Have a cake. Excellent. Yeah. It's got cake and I've got a bit of Yes. <laughs> the 
wait till they went to sleep so nobody takes one back. I will <laughs> wait. <laughs> We've arrived at Nivsha here. It's quarter past five. It's just getting light outside. Turns out the shuttle bus to Grome starts at between 7.15 and 7.45. So, Lee and one of our other passengers from the bus, we decided to have a little sleep. A couple of hours kept on the hard floor. The Dolmas to Goreme from Nefshi here. Walk out, walk through the Altoga and come out back here. This is where the very kind and friendly guy told me that the Dolmas has stopped. Many of us stops. So just a quick look to see if we can see the timetable. Look at you. Such a beautiful big girl. Oh yeah, give them to her, Lee. She might like them. She doesn't like... Oh no. Oh, so little one. That's all we have. <laughs> She's so friendly. Oh, nice. You, you want to see... You've shown us you don't like these ones, Bobby. Such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Getting this way now. This is the bus to Goreme. Turns out it's now seven Turkish lira per person. Seven tele. And it'll leave at 7.45. Lee's just gone back to check information for our onward travel. And Li Peng's gone to buy some food for the dog. Wherever the lovely dog is.